Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a kind of prog house style riser, which I used for a track recently. It's kind of reminiscent of the stuff coming out of Australia and UK at the moment, and it's the kind of music I absolutely love. I thought I'd share that with you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's apply the sub oscillator and set the octaves to minus two. Now let's load some of our own wavetables. I'm going to look for some harsh resonance samples, and I found that I had a couple good ones when I searched for alien noises. I'll upload the two I've used in the description. Now let's drag both into the oscillator's wavetables. As you can hear, when I move through the sound, they have a harsh robotic quality to them. I'll set the position of one to 40%, and the position of two to 90. I'll also set them up to both use modern wave warping for some extra modulation later. Now for the filter, which I'll set to bandpass. It's probably a good point to add some reverb and delay too. Now for the modulation. Let's set LFO1 to a rate of 2 and an amount of 10%. Now let's apply 50% of LFO1 to the wavetable position of oscillator 1. Here's just oscillator 1 so you can hear what the modulation is doing. And now let's apply 20% of oscillator 2 2. Perfect. Now let's finally add some more character with a unison set to position spread. As you can hear, this is the sound we're after. But instead of dragging the filter around manually, we can use a shaper to automate it. With a faster rate, we get a more rhythmic sound, which is also great. Here, however, I'll set the rate to 4, as we want some slow builds. I'll set the shaper to start low, then spring up quickly, before retreating, creating a sweeping, zappy sound. I'll bring the minimum value down to 10%, so the filter's always letting a bit through. And voila! We can create a more interesting sound by playing with the modulation some more. Here, I've modulated the warping of the wave tables. And this final version, I've added a second LFO, set to a fast random wave to modulate the position of the filter as well as the warping. Now it's just time to use it in a track. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from that. I showed you how to use it kind of as a riser, but I mean, feel free to experiment. You can get a lot of really interesting sounds with using those kind of complex wavetables. As I always say, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I'll catch you in the next one.